Hello all, Seabath Saint here. And uh, we have another school shooting in the United States. Kind of par for the course at this point, it seems like. But uh, it was stopped early by a school resource officer who actually engaged a student. It says here, a Blaine Gaskell, at a St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office deputy with SWAT training who had been positioned at Great Mills High School since the beginning of the school year, immediately, immediately responded after being alerted of the shooting, officials said. So unlike in the Parkland shooting where the resource officer stayed out for minutes while hearing gunshots and kids screaming, and then the Broward County deputies came there and stood outside doing nothing until another area's cops came and actually went in. This guy took action and fired shots. Gaskell pursued the shooter, Engaged the shooter, fired around at the shooter, Sheriff Tim Cameron said Tuesday, adding that the deputy did everything he was supposed to do during an active shooter situation. Exactly. Like, I, I just don't understand. Like, the liberals are like, oh, if we ban guns, you know, it'll fix everything. And that a good guy with a gun didn't help in Parkland. The problem was there wasn't a good guy with a gun until the deputies from another area finally arrived at the Stoneman Douglas uh, High School. So... A good man with a gun did stop a shooting. Gaskell contained the situation with one within one minute of the initial shot being fired. Official said it's unclear if the round hit the shooter. If his round hit the shooter, so he ended up killing, or I guess the gunman's dead. I don't know if he was the one who killed him. It's, it seems like it's unknown. Uh, but t there's only two injured after shooting at Great Mills High School in Maryland. So, because of this fine cops and resource officers' actions, a shooting was stopped. So, a good guy with a gun did stop a bad guy with a gun. So, this idea that getting rid of guns will stop, you know, no guns here, no guns here, no guns in schools, because what? Make it the only place where you know for sure you'll be the only guy with a gun. When this shooter came in here, Austin Wyatt uh, Rollins, I think is his name, yeah, Austin Wyatt Rollins, when he went there, he shot, and he got shot back at because there was a good guy with a gun, the resource officer. Had there not been a, a, a guy with a gun, who knows? It could have been another Parkland. It could have been worse. It could have been maybe a little bit not as bad, but still, it's pretty obvious that there would be at least a death, not just two injured. And let's go over here to the story. This is kind of old, but it relates to this story. It shows that uh, resource officer Scott Peterson stood outside and did nothing during the shooting. Dur oh, this is more than a few minutes. During the six-minute shooting, as Nicholas Cruz turned classrooms into deadly chaos, Peterson hardly moved and he never entered the building. Like, what use are you as a resource officer with a gun if you're just going to stand as a coward? Though the 32-year-old veteran deputy has won awards for his record, Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel said after, said after he watched Pearson video, he was devastated. Not so devastated that uh, at the meeting, I guess it's like town hall type uh, deal, in uh, the BB&T Center, you didn't mind putting all the blame on the NRA opposed to your de police department. It w it's everyone else's fault but your police department. I guess until this video came out and showed that, eh. Not so much. So this shows that, at least in this case, a good guy, this man, with a gun, stopped this bad guy with a gun. And in this case, this bad guy with a gun didn't stop this other bad guy with a gun. So really the issue isn't guns in school. It's the issue is we need to have somebody who's actually brave enough to do something with that gun during an active shooter situation. Parkland, unfortunately, didn't have that. Luckily, Maryland, it was St. Mary's County, uh, did. At Great Mills High School, they did. And they were lucky. And I'm glad they, that he was brave enough to do what he did. And all the commendations he's getting, he deserves, if not more. Uh, C. Beth Saint, uh, signing off.